let's solve some other questions in this lecture type 4 other types of questions in time and work a can do a work in 15 days and b in 20 days if they work on it together for 4 days then the fraction of work left is is asking us to find out the remaining work so let's solve this it is given that a can do a work in 15 days therefore part of the work done in one day will be 1 by 15 similarly b can finish a work in 20 days and part of the work done in one day will be 1 by 20 and in the second statement it is given as if they work on it together that is a plus b one day work which will be equal to 1 by 15 plus 1 by 20 and this will be equal to 7 by 60 this is a part of the work done together in one day and what about for four days it is 7 by 60 into 4 which is equal to 7 by 15 having achieved this value let's find out the remaining work or the fraction of work left is equal to total minus 7 by 15 and this will be equal to 8 by 15 so the fraction of work left is 8 by 15 a b and c are employed to do piece of work for rupees 529 a and b together are supposed to do 9 by 23 of the work and B and C together 8 by 23 part of the work. What amount should A be paid? Let's solve this. A plus B that is A and B together had done 9 by 23 part of the work and B plus C have done 8 by 23 part of the work. We need to find out A share. Before knowing A share, we need to find out work done by A. How do we figure out the work done by A? that is by subtracting b plus c from the total value that is 1 therefore 1 minus 8 by 23 becomes 15 by 23 so work done by a is 15 by 23 here the total amount is given from this amount we need to find out a share therefore a share will be 15 by 23 into 529 and it is rupees 345 this is a share that is the end of time and work concept thank you <laughs>